the deafening cheers at this Harry Potter themed rally are for Anon Nampa, a bookish human rights lawyer who has emerged at the forefront of Thailand's protests. The movement has no official leader, but Anon's clamours for reform have shaken Thai politics to the core, making him a hero for some and a hate figure for others. Thailand is witnessing its largest protests since the 2014 coup. The tidal wave of public demands for change are unprecedented. Anon and the demonstrators want not just a government overhaul, but a new constitution. They are also tackling the most taboo of all topics, the powerful monarchy. Anon grew up in a farming family in the poor, rice-growing northeastern province of Roy Et. There, opposition to the Bangkok-based establishment runs deep. His activism began in high school and he started working in human rights in 2006. I grew up seeing a lot of problems in Thai society. I'm a son of farmers. Being a child has its advantages as society tends to treat you kindly and forgive you. My activism in my high school days was quite innocent. The current protests emerged late last year after courts banned a political party. Future Forward drew strong support among the youth and was the most vocal in opposing the government of former junta leader Prayut Chanoja. Protests went largely online during the lockdown, but then re-emerged in mid-July. Since then, demonstrations, largely organised by student groups, have occurred almost daily. The reforms Anon and protesters seek hinge on three key demands. For Prayut's government to step down, a new constitution, and an end to the harassment of opposition activists. Some students have also presented 10 demands for reforming the monarchy. Until recently, that's been a taboo topic. They include curbs on the king's constitutional power, his authority over the palace fortune, and armed forces. They also want to depoliticize his role, but emphasize they're not seeking to abolish it. The demands are driven by multiple grievances. Prayut first seized power in a 2014 coup. Opponents accuse him of maintaining that power through an election last year held under unfair rules, an accusation he disputes. There are also accusations of government corruption and of a Thai elite ruling with impunity. Poverty has worsened amid the collapse of the crucial tourist industry. Many young Thais voice frustration with an establishment that emphasizes obedience to authority and tradition. We're now living in a world where the young generations are more eager to learn and have access to more information outside the classrooms. It has widened up their world. They are learning new political theories and other options. This is why they are all out here today. Protests so far have been peaceful, though there are fears things could escalate. Political analysts say the government is in a bind. If it acts too harshly, it risks provoking a backlash that will encourage more support for the protests. However, if it fails to take strong action, the protesters may be further emboldened.